Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's see some example problems in clutches. First problem, a plate clutch consists of one pair of contacting surfaces. The inner and outer diameters of the friction disc are 100 and 200 mm respectively. The coefficient of friction is 0.2 and permissible intensity of pressure is 1 Newton per millimeter square. Assuming uniform wear theory, calculate power transmitting capacity of the clutch at 750 rpm. This is the data that he gave. Inner diameter is 100 mm, so inner radius is 50 mm. And similarly, outer diameter is 200 mm, so outer radius is 100 mm. Coefficient of friction mu is equal to 0.2. Permissible intensity of pressure means the maximum allowable pressure is 1 Newton per millimeter square. So P1 is 1 Newton per millimeter square. And uh, speed is 750 rpm, so N is 750. According to uniform wear theory, total axial force F is equal to 2 pi P1 R1 into R2 minus R1. We have the values we can substitute P1 is 1, R1 is 50, R2 100 and R1 50. We, can, we will get this value 15707.96 Newtons. Torque transmitted. Torque formula in uniform wear theory is mu into F into RF where F is the force and RF is the friction radius. If you remember, in uniform wear theory, friction radius is R1 plus R2 by 2, which is 50 plus 100 by 2, which is 75 mm. So torque transmitted is equal to mu is 0 0.2 into force 15707.96 into 75, which gives us 235,619.4 Newton millimeter, which is 235.62 Newton meter. Now power transmitting capacity is torque into angular velocity and angular velocity is 2 pi n by 60 so you can substitute n value which is 750 here and we will get 78.54 radians per second now we can multiply torque value and angular velocity value to get 18505.5 watts which is 18.5 kilowatt second example assume the data given in the example before and calculate the power transmitting capacity of the clutch using uniform pressure theory so same data and we have to do it with uniform pressure theory so in uniform pressure theory torque transmitted formula is 2 by 3 mu pi p r2 cube minus r1 cube mu is 2 0 0.2 and p is 1 r2 is 100 and r1 is 50 substituting this we will get a value of 366.52 newton meters and power transmitting capacity is torque into angular velocity torque we will we got here and uh, multiplying with angular velocity we will get a value of 28.79 kilowatts as you can see there is quite a bit of difference in the values we got from both the theories in uniform wear theory we got 18.5 kilowatts and in uniform pressure theory we got 28.79 kilowatts there is approximately 10 kilowatt difference in both the theories so the explanation is when the clutch is when the clutch plate is new the pressure on the clutch plate is constant and it can deliver higher torque but after using some time some wear occurs in the clutch plate which reduces the torque transmitting capacity that's why since pressure is con pressure is constant in uniform pressure theory we will see higher value so if we design the clutch according to uniform pressure theory we will actually we will be designing for higher torque and after some wear the torque is not sufficient to move the automobile Instead, if we consider uniform wear theory and design for lower torque, even though the clutch can deliver more torque, there is allowance for some wear, which means that even though some wear occurs, you can still drive the vehicle. This is the safer design. Only after the clutch plates are so worn out that the clutch can't move the automobile any longer, then we have to change the clutch plates. This is the explanation for why uniform pressure theory gives higher value than uniform wear theory. So we will consider uniform wear theory for designing the clutches. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will drop the materials. I will drop this PPT and uh, some material in the description. Check, please check it out and have a nice day.